In our morning rounds, how diet soft drinks might have consequences for your brain. New research finds having at least one artificially sweetened drink a day could double the risk of developing a stroke or dementia. A 2015 study showed that Americans drink more than 3 billion gallons of diet soda a year. Our Dr. Tara Narula is a cardiologist at Norwell Health. Good morning. Good morning, Nora. All right, what would account for a link between diet soda and dementia? This is a beverage class that's on the rise, particularly in children, and it's marketed to many as a healthier alternative, but is it? This is not the first study to point out a link with diet sodas and vascular events, in particular stroke. It is the first to kind of highlight the risk of dementia. And so the question really is, is it the drink or is it not the drink? And so they tried to kind of look at other factors that might be playing in, physical and activity, smoking, your diet quality, and they really still found that association when they, when they accounted for those factors. However, and this is important, when they accounted for things like diabetes and vascular risk factors and high blood pressure, they no longer really saw that significant association between the diet drink and dementia and stroke, which tells us that probably these effects are being mediated through diabetes, hypertension, and vascular mm -hmm. things. So is it the drink itself that's somehow leading people to gain weight and develop diabetes and causing it? or is it a higher risk population, people That's who are already diabetic and right. overweight, who are saying, I want to get healthier, I'm switching, and it was their previous high risk that caused this. The American Beverage Association responded to the study saying, quote, low calorie sweeteners have been proven safe and there is nothing in this research that counters this well-established fact. So how definitive can we say this research is then? This is an observational study. It does not prove cause and effect. There are yeah. biological hypotheses that say maybe these types of drinks are increasing your cravings for high glycemic, high caloric foods leading to weight gain and diabetes. Maybe they're affecting hormones. They're affecting your microbiome. They are somehow have a component in them that is pro-inflammatory. The bottom line is we really don't know. We need more research. This increases our awareness about that. So do you think that people, because we use it to lose weight or to reduce the sugar, does this mean go back to the sugary colas then? It does not. We know that added sugar is bad for your cardiovascular health. It raises your risk of diabetes, hypertriglyceridemia. Um, so you really want to stick to the recommendation less than nine teaspoons a day of sugar added for men, less than six teaspoons a day for women. Uh, and really water is the safest thing. And in oh. fact, there was a study by these authors this same week that said that when they looked at uh, sugary beverages and they studied people's brains, they had decreased memory. They had decreased brain volume. So do not just make the decision to switch back. To well, I know from reliable <laughs> sources, you drink a lot of diet drinks. Does I, this mean you're changing? I had to think about it yesterday yeah. when I reached to get in my diet soda. Okay. So, well, what kind of diet soda do you drink? Like I, diet every, every day I drink. All right. So, yeah, I got to think about it now. I may change what's in my cup. All right, Tara, thanks.